hello friends today it's going to be a different video so if you are below 18 kindly st stop the video and watch some other video of mine because this is going to be a strictly above 18 video so if you are still hearing me then hello friends yeah today we are going to see about the sex life of mahatma gandhi yes you hit it right it's the sex life of mahatma gandhi you might think what could a person who was following non violence and was a strict vegetarian all through his life can possibly have in sex life but gandhi was having a much more colorful sex life than you think where he had a boyfriend and also flirted with underage girls let's see about his other part of life how completely you have taken possession of my body this is slavery with a vengeance your portrait the only one stands on my mantelpiece in the bedroom the mantelpiece is opposite to the bed mk gandhi to herman kalanbach these are extracts from mohandas karamchand gandhi's letters to herman kalanbach this caused quite an outrage in india where still being a gay is a taboo subject how about gandhi then was he a gay was he bisexual let's see about it mohandas karamchand gandhi was born in gujarat in british india he was married at a very young age of 13 which was quite common in british india in his autobiography he insists that while his father was in his death bed he left his father to have sex with his wife which was the moment when his father died and from that point on he wanted to abstain from sex and he have hated and hated towards it but if you see his last son was born several years after his father's death which is a contrary to what he has told in his autobiography gandhi then traveled to britain to become a lawyer and then settled in johannesburg south africa to practice law while he was in johannesburg he developed a friendship with herman karlenbach a german gymnast and a bodybuilder karlenbach being him a part of uh, gandhi's family where he resolved disputes between gandhi his wife and also between his kids basically gandhi and karlenbach were together on a spiritual journey and they followed vegetarianism gandhi's ideas in later part of his life was much influenced during this period in johannesburg when he was with kalanbach they had long walks together and shared ideologies between them but whatever the conclusion which we are having currently is based on the letters which were exchanged between gandhi and kalanbach gandhi writes that whenever he sees vaseline it reminds him of kalanbach and that he has hung a huge photo of him right in his bedroom and gandhi is insist that kalanbak has to dominate the relationship and he is happy to be a slave when gandhi left for india kalanbak stayed in johannesburg but the letters still continued where gandhi referred him as a lower house and kalanbak as upper house and gandhi went on to describe kalanbak's body features and he praises him as one of the best he has seen in his life while he was back in his ashram in india gandhi's sex life has continued to be in controversy in one case the chief minister of travangore described gandhi as a sex maniac mohammad ali jinnah also the founder of pakistan pointed out some of this characters in gandhi which sort of got him and 
bad reputation among the Muslims in India. Jawaharlal Nehru also refused to publicly speak about the sex life of uh, Gandhi when he was questioned about it. Many historians continue to argue that Gandhi had made some provocatory comments on young boys in public spaces. And Gandhi has insisted that he has to sleep with underage girls in order to check his perseverance towards temptation. In his ashram, he has also insisted that he has to sleep and bathe with girls and when there are mischievous boys and girls, they have to also bathe together. In his ashram, there is a rule that even a newly wed couple should not be together. But for him, this was a different case. When an American journalist asked him about family birth control, he replied back saying that we have to resist the power of lust in order to conquer more. And one of his experiments was in such a way that the environment around him is about the same way of making lust happen but he was resisting against it but the psychological pressure which was put on these young girls was really huge at a very young age and this has caused unbearable personal problems for them this all came into light when a book was written by the inmates of Gandhi's ashram on his unusual activities the letters which were written by Gandhi to Karan Bakh were sort of a secret collection and it was under the private collections of the family. It came to an auction by Sotheby's, one of the famous auction houses in London in 2012. But a bidder bought the letters outside the auction for an undisclosed amount. Guess who the bidder is? Yeah, it's the government of India. The government of India spent the hard-earned money of the taxpayers to buy Gandhi's letter to his friends to cover up the contents of the letters. Now the letters are being marked as confidential and it can not be revealed to public. Supporters of Gandhi argue that some people have taken the content in out of context. Say for example, the Vaseline means that due to long walks they might have got bad food and this can be used to heal it and in the 19th century and uh, 20th century it's quite common that two men can speak openly about their bodily features and it's, it should not be considered as an erotic relationship but still this is being highly contested and only Gandhi and Kalan Bach can give us a proper answer the source for this material is taken from the book Gandhi's Naked Ambition by Jad Adams and if you have time, you can read it on Amazon. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. See you next video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Bye friends.